the institution uh, affected development doesn't matter uh, at do. all because like Muscovy. Oh, well, sorry, no, no, like... I, sorry, I, I need to go and comment on this. There's a fight going on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Sweden are currently fighting against Muscovy and kicking the living daylights out of them. Crikey, 117% discipline, 4.4 morale versus Muscovy, and Muscovy just sent packing. Wow, that was a slaughter. Sweden really starting to come in on their own. Did they get any more Swedish abilities? Sweden coming in with quality with the extra infantry combat ability. What is their quality like now? 30%. And then Muscovy just annihilated. Sweden also have a bit more professionalism than Muscovy at the moment. And wow. That was a smashing. Especially considering that was in the forest. That should have been Muscovy's... Uh, yeah, Muscovy's fight to win. And actually, how much attrition are these guys taking? 7% at the moment because of the attrition penalties that Finland is opposing on them. Let's take a look at Finland right now. Uh, yes, there are, no, that's just fort defense. They don't have the attrition yet. And they don't have the defensive ideas that do it either. So Swedish armies are now starting to roll into Muscovy. So Muscovy very much at the mercy of Sweden. Although the Ottomans are still in the war. The Ottomans, we haven't seen much of the Ottomans because the Mo Ottomans are not really participating. Finland is a Muscovite vassal. <clears throat> Sweden doesn't look like they're willing to encroach too heavily. What are the armies like at the moment? So Muscovy with 70 regiments, although some of them are probably reinforcing. They do have a little bit of manpower left. Sweden with more manpower also over their force limit. So both of them are going to be paying through the nose for their forces. And they are both losing money. How's the loan situation? Muscovy is in 600 debt. Uh, wow. Sweden's in 3,000 debt. Sweden is going all in here to try and deny Helsen some of their power. Wow. Ming explosions, no joke. Crikey. Really starting to die. Uh, Kamchandals. Have they started to go to Alaska yet? They have not. You've got to be kidding me. Who's that? Kamchandals. Oh, Kamchandals are in a player war. Against... Wait, what? They're just allied with Oira. So I don't know what they're doing. Meanwhile... Oh, their army was exiled. <laughs> Where? Because that's going to be a bad exile. They're like halfway across the world. Oh, they're only down here. Okay, they're not that far away. Meanwhile, Muscovy is starting to array some forces against Sweden. Sweden did lose some troops there. Neva is, meanwhile, being recaptured by Novgorod automatically. But Vipuri, the very, very important city in the First World War with the Soviet Union trying to go after the Finns, is holding out against the Finns this time, with the Swedes just sitting on it. Meanwhile, Muscovy coming in with just 25,000 men. Not sure what the 23,000 are doing. Oh, no, cancelled their might. Oh, no. <laughs> going in with half again. This time it's going to be Sweden's defensive bonus, so it's going to be forest for the Swedes. Muscovy bringing in more troops, but half their army attacking, half of them not. Not entirely sure what the objective here is. They're locked in. This attack's going to happen. Oh, they're going up to Kexholm. Okay, that would explain it. Why the hell are the Kemchandals a player? Because they want it to be. This is Austria's time to do nasty things to his big enemies. Yeah, a lot of the major players in this have just been really smashed down. With the possible exception of the Bahmanis, who are just showing off just how powerful they are. I think they are the greatest power in the world, right? No, second. Ottomans are in first. Yeah, the Ottomans and the Bahmanis in a pretty much unassailable position right now. It would take a pretty significant coalition to take them down. And the Ottomans being allied to Muscovy, even though only nominally, looking at this again, uh, is a big deal, particularly for Poland and Lithuania. I would think for Austria, like, I am still astonished that Austria is not doing more. Still no diplomatic expenses, they're not paying subsidies to anyone. Um, and they might want to for Sweden. Sweden's going to be the great northern bulwark against Muscovite uh, aggression. And the more damage you can do to Muscovy, the less likely the Ottomans are to spring out and do stuff. Meanwhile, Oira, still just kind of sitting back, dealing slowly but surely with their separatists. Do they have an army? 
They don't even have an army, so they're saving all of their money trying to build up a bankroll to do future stuff. They are down to minus one stability from the plus three that they were at before the bankruptcy. So I think the bankruptcy was probably a mistake if it was player triggered. Not necessarily sure that it was. I don't remember Oirat being in a huge amount of debt. But did we check? France is in a player war. Oh, they are. France is currently at war with Sweden. Burgundy is allied to Sweden, apparently. So I'm not too sure that... Oh, no. This is just Sweden against France. I don't think that those two powers are actually going to fight. I mean, this stuff is owned by Sweden, so France could potentially go marching up through Jutland. I'm a little bit surprised that there's not a uh, fort in Holstein. There is one in Kolding, but not in Holstein. I think I would build one there if I was Sweden, because that's basically going to block access to the rest of your country. But Kolding being a decent secondary choice. Meanwhile, Sweden just been sent off. Damn it, I missed another fight. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Muscovy, Finland coming in with a bunch of troops. Vipuri now under attack. Saragio gear, meanwhile, trying to... Wait, that's on Sweden's side. Yeah, I have no idea what Saragio gear is doing over there. Uh, Sweden is probably kicking themselves for their alliance with Oirat. This was a really good opportunity to go after Muscovy, although Oirat was so weakened. And Oirat now being bankrupt means that it's just Sweden versus Muscovy and the Ottomans. Although, again, Hello. the Ottomans don't seem particularly interested. Hello. Hi. I thought... I, told, I wanted to come in here and tell you not to tell Marshall, wink, wink, that the the heir of the Austrian Habsburg throne is a Serb. Oh, interesting. <laughs> it's, I got an event because I didn't have an heir. An event came up and it was, you get this heir of Serbian culture. It's like, oh... Interesting. Oh, Marshall's not going to like this. <laughs> Actually, it's a good thing you're here because I wanted to ask you about the mm -hmm. massive wars that have been going on your borders. Like mm -hmm. the humbling of Poland, Lithuania. How's that playing into your current plans? Mm, Austria reserves the right to act in accordance with her own interests. Oh, sorry, usual diplomatic response. <laughs> um, but I... the expansion of Muscovy and the Ottomans towards you surely is not a good thing. I mean, I sold the Ottomans institutions and they gave me a province. And I used the money from the institutions they sold to pay off the loans I took embrace, to embrace the institutions. So, like, eh. Okay. Um, it's, I mean, I would be lying if I said there was no cause for concern. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's some concern. Uh, we're just going to have to deal with it as it comes up. And then the current Muscovy war against Sweden. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's more Sweden being like... Sorry, yeah, I've, I've got help. another fight coming in. Let me just... See what's That's happening okay. here. Uh, yep, here it goes. Thirty-three thousand Swedes against the fifty thousand Muscovites, and again Sweden absolutely destroying the Muscovites. Four point one morale versus four point seven tactics of one point eight versus one point five. Sweden just dem demolishing them. This is really one-sided, and Muscovy taking a ton of damage, double the casualties that Sweden are at the moment, and Sweden's much smaller army just <laughs> wiped them out. Not a stack wipe, but still a pretty significant defeat, and Vipuri will remain Swedish for the time being. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, that was that was more arrangements and, and deals outside of the Empire, and, and it was, again, largely against Muscovy. Finland just got stack wiped. <clears throat> yes. I mean, I mean, it is Finland, come on. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, Sweden is in the HRE. Have you ever yes. considered, like, sending subsidies and things to these guys who are holding the, the frontiers. Uh, who do you think you're talking to? Someone with money? <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> you have a gold mine, like one of the only gold mines in Europe. I have one gold mine, and the rest of my provinces are not that particularly wealthy, and I have to use all my dev on other things, like, I don't know, exploration ideas to do crazy world, world ending things. That's true. And also, seen. to try and maintain my various alliances and networks, I have to be over my dipl diplo reputation limit, or relations limits often so my diplomat is quite a bit behind so yeah i don't really have a lot of diplo points to spend boosting that gold mine uh, uh -huh. on top of that i don't i'm now in the state where i'm progressively losing imperial authority so i don't even know if i'll get the next reform which would give me the tax that 20 tax ducats how are you losing so, it because of religions 
Uh, less because of religious, it's more because I've let the let me states in the empire get big. There's not there's not as many princes anymore. No, That's the main it's, one. it's because of the uh, heretics. There are twenty four heretic uh, princes in the empire. This reduces imperial authority by minus point two. Oh no, it definitely is. But there's also a fair number of large electors now. And they just generally don't like that. And there's only four free cities, but no one wants to be a free city because everyone I can offer to is either a, a, a monarchy or a theocracy, and they especially don't want it. Sure. So there's a few things, but yes, the heretics for now are a big one, and that penalty will be reduced once we resolve that. Oh, yeah, League War. That's got to be ticking along. Mm, no, it's not eventually. That. Interesting. Yeah, that's gonna not yet. A, that's going to be a fun one. Uh, might not. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. And England... Depends on if pla depends on if contingency plans that have been set up will actually be adhered to or not. <laughs> England has indeed gone Anglican, as I thought they might. Yes. So much money. England's yes. going to be ob yes, they... obnoxiously wealthy. Hmm. Depends if their if their enemies can actually get their shit together and actually fight them. Probably. <laughs> well, they tried Which, and failed massively. They tried, failed, and failed massively because they keep forgetting that they, their their way in should be through various nations that were actually within the Isles. Mm -hmm. Like the number of times I said from the start, "Hey, look, someone should is that who is at war with Scotland should just take a piece of Scotland, just just do it." Because there were been a few, like Sweden, and are you just Alan, so you know you have two more um, minions now. You do? Who'd you get? Sorry, who what now? Oh, that was faceless coming in saying. Well, not minions, me. but not minions, but um, more princes, and that's what I mean. Oh, oh, good. Oh, I see. Uh, you release some people. Yep, and uh, now, and now, and now, Burgundy's a prince. It's officially a prince, finally. Although I'm not sure I like that very much. Burgundy. Ugh. Gross. Oh. Um, yeah. Anyway, I should probably get back to commentating the war. Mm -hmm. Thanks yep, for stopping that's by. That's fine. No, you're welcome. All right. So uh, there was something else I was going to point out, and I've forgotten what it was now. Why are still at war? Finland's still at war. Muscovy's still at war. Ottomans, Kamchandals, and Sweden. No, it's gone. So what is going on over here? We've got the thirty thousand. Swedes just kind of staying strong against Muscovy. Muscovy is starting to get a couple of rebel uprisings of their own, although no more due to trigger for a while. How is Oirat looking for that? Korchin have declared their independence. Dongai is doing a bit of damage. Ming, boom. Xi has just appeared. Uh, Liang is probably going to appear. Miao is probably going to appear. Let's take a look at Ming real quick. Yeah, Liang's going to separate soon. Miao very soon in the next two months. Yi in 18 months. So that's going to be a powerful one there in the jungle. Uh, what else is going on around Europe? Poland, Lithuania still holding strong. How is Poland doing in terms of their technology? They are now m admin 9. Wait, they've gone backwards. They've been spending admin on something. No! That was the thing, yeah. Austria. What are they doing colonially? So they did get down to Corral. And then they've expanded down into South Africa. I did think that this was Austria, but it's not. It's actually Azuran. So that's one of the AIs down in Saklava. Plus Malafi. Uh, Fatamandri, which is one of the... Uh, what are they called? Victory points has not yet been taken by any of the players. So that one is still very much open. And in Japan... Hello. Hello. Who's this? Klempf. Bahmanis. Bahmanis here. Yeah, that was, a, that was an interesting war. <laughs> Indeed, it was. So how did you get all <laughs> really of the... Amazing. Yeah, uh, fighting against Jomper, which is probably one of your nemeses at the moment, because he's definitely clashed with you a few yeah. times. And then the intervention by Oirat. Yeah. But the reason I'm, I'm coming to you is actually I want to show you my, my new subject. Maybe you haven't uh, heard of it. I have not looked. Perhaps I. Uh, I don't know where that even is. That's maybe a nation for you if you look into the uh, national ideas and especially the... Oh, is this the pirate? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've heard about these guys. I've never actually seen them appear. Is that an event? Yeah, it is. It's, uh, I think, if you're Muslim and hold uh, the West Coast, 
south there um, it can spawn and you can decide either to fight them or to to basilize them interesting light ship cost minus 20 percent may raid coasts oh they get that as they're not a pirate republic they're not oh that's interesting okay so but this is like an old raid. school version uh, tolerance of heathens, yearly naval tradition, sailor maintenance, fort defense, national manpower, diplomat, trade efficiency, naval maintenance. The main thing is that they can raid, and then they also have the 15% morale of navies, so lots of light ships for potential trade or privateers, and then morale of navies. Okay, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen them appear, so cool. <laughs> well done. Okay, then I will leave you again. Um, before you do... Um, how did you manage to get half of the Islamic world to support you, Condottieri, including um, one of John Per's own allies? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's something I, I realized um, two multiplayers ago, I think, when it was VJ, that it's always it's a good thing to just talk to people, to connect to people, to say um, to people that uh, you will have their back. And um, when the others did their plans for this session or the sessions before, I was always like um, supporting them and saying, if you need money, the Bank of India stands behind you. And if you give favors, you will get favors back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like the, uh, the, the, the clashes over there have been really interesting. Like John Poe's army, even though he's militarily behind you, is just so strong because of their morale. Uh, yeah. And then Oirat coming in, the big fights uh, throughout Delhi because of that, and then Jompur. Yeah, it's it's been a really interesting fight uh, in India, that's for sure. Great. And now Oirat fighting against Muscovy, they jumped in on that as well. So Oirat's struggled a little bit this session. Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> yeah, thank you. you. Yep, see ya. Hello, I got a question for you. Yeah. What's the... The piece out all you're at the do stab hits. What's it? Fifty percent? Yes, I think so. And you're currently at twenty-eight. I think it's fifty. Yeah, I was just curious. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, all you're at not having a great time right now. <laughs> well, yeah, and I can't do anything to Sweden because, well, Sweden is space marines, and I'm not Russia, Russia yet. Yes, I've seen the clashes over uh, Vipuri. It's been interesting. Well, he has, you know, 15% uh, discipline on me, plus 0.6 morale. Not to mention infantry combat. 20%, yeah. Yeah. Sweden. yeah. Yes, the the Muscovite hordes versus the Swedish uh, space marines. It's, it's It's been a fun one. Oh, and Ottomans are gobbling up no guy before you can. Yeah. I don't know. He's getting a little... Like, nobody can stop Ottomans. But I didn't have a choice because they were all going to jump me anyway. So I had to... It's like the... You know... Uh, Deal with the devil. What, yeah. <laughs> I did wonder what the uh, arrangement there was. Certain other players have been expressing their regrets with Ottoman... Um, reliability, shall we say. Yeah, this has been a really, really fun session. Like your war against uh, Sweden, Oirat, Oirat's war against India, uh, England versus the Naval Coalition, Ulm imploding for the third time. <laughs> it's been good. And then three uh, player wars going on concurrently. That was kind of crazy. Oh, I can see your army is moving down into Oirat territories now. Ming have imploded again. <laughs> really? They declared war on them, so I thought they might be winning against them. No. Ming currently has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven separatist nations. Six warlords. warlords. Yes. Anyway, um, I should let you get back. Uh, yeah, I think it is 50%, so if you take a couple more of his forts or just more territory, then you should be able to start stab hitting.